Eileen Warnos was a notorious American serial killer who gained significant media attention for her crimes. Early Life Eileen Carol Warnos was born on February 29, 1956, in Rochester, Michigan. Her childhood was marked by a difficult and troubled upbringing. Her father was absent from her life, and her mother was emotionally unstable. Wernos claimed that she had been sexually abused by family members and engaged in prostitution from an early age. Criminal History and Murders Wernos began her criminal activities in her late teens, getting involved in theft, assault, and various misdemeanors. However, her most infamous crimes were committed between 1989 and 1989 and 1990 when she went on a killing spree. She murdered seven men all of whom were strangers in Florida. Wernos later claimed that she had killed them in self-defense during attempted sexual assaults, but evidence and her inconsistent statements suggested otherwise. Arrest and Trial Wernos was arrested in 1991 after police linked her to a stolen car belonging to one of her victims. Her capture led to a media frenzy and her case became a sensationalized story. During her trial, Wernos claimed that she had killed the men in self-defense as they had attacked her during attempted sexual assaults. However, evidence presented against her suggested that her motive was often robbery, rather than self-defense. Conviction and Sentencing In 1992, Aileen Wernos was found guilty of six counts of first-degree murder. She received multiple death sentences for her crimes. Throughout the trial, her erratic behavior and mental health issues were on display. She attracted attention not only for her crimes, but also for her troubled demeanor, mental health, and controversies. Wernos's mental health was a significant point of contention during her trial and subsequent appeals. She was diagnosed with borderline personality disorder and antisocial personality disorder. Her attorneys argued that her traumatic upbringing and history of abuse contributed to her mental state. Execution and Legacy Eileen Warnos was executed by lethal injection on October 9, 2002, at the Florida State Prison. Her case sparked debates about the death penalty, the treatment of women in the criminal justice system, and the role of mental health in criminal behavior. Some supporters believed she was a victim of her circumstances, while others viewed her as a cold-blooded killer. Wernos's life and crimes have been the subject of documentaries, films, books, and other media portrayals. The 2003 film Monster, in which Charlie's Theron portrayed Wernos, provided a fictionalized account of her story. Wernos's case continues to be examined from psychological, sociological, and legal perspectives, contributing to discussions about criminal behavior, mental health, and the criminal justice system. Aileen Wuornos' motivations for committing her series of murders have been a subject of speculation and analysis. 1. Traumatic Childhood and Self-Defense One theory suggests that Wuornos' traumatic upbringing, marked by alleged sexual abuse, abandonment, and a life of prostitution, played a significant role in her criminal behavior. Wuornos claimed that the men she murdered had attempted to sexually assault her, and she killed them in self-defense. This theory posits that her history of abuse and exploitation might have contributed to her extreme reactions to perceived threats, leading her to resort to violence as a means of survival. 2. Distorted Perception of Relationships Another theory delves into Wuornos' reported history of tumultuous relationships and unstable emotional state. It's possible that her traumatic past led to distorted perceptions of relationships, intimacy, and trust. This distortion might have fueled her paranoia and belief that she needed to protect herself at any cost, leading her to perceive innocent interactions as potential threats. This skewed perspective could have contributed to her propensity for violence. 3. Impulse Control and Mental Health Issues Wuornos had been diagnosed with borderline personality disorder and antisocial personality disorder, both of which can impact impulse control, emotional regulation, and the ability to form healthy relationships. 
These disorders may have contributed to her inability to manage her emotions and impulses in situations where violence seemed like the only solution. Mental health issues could have further exacerbated her tendency to react violently when feeling threatened or cornered. 4. Power and Control Some experts have suggested that power and control might have been motivating factors in Wernos's crimes. As a survivor of a difficult and abusive childhood, she may have felt a desire to exert power and control over others, especially men. The act of taking someone's life could have given her a sense of power that she lacked in other areas of her life, albeit through extremely destructive means. It's important to note that no single theory can fully explain Wernos' actions, and a combination of factors likely contributed to her violent behavior. These theories are based on psychological, sociological, and criminological perspectives, but the complexity of human behavior means that the true motivations behind her crimes may never be fully understood. Some interesting facts about Aileen Wuornos. First, female serial killer. Aileen Wuornos is one of the most infamous female serial killers in history, known for her brutal crimes and subsequent trial. Tragic childhood. Wuornos had a tumultuous upbringing marked by alleged abuse and neglect. She claimed to have been sexually assaulted by family members and began engaging in sex work at a young age. Self-defense claims. During her trial, Wuornos consistently maintained that her victims had attempted to rape her and that she killed them in self-defense. This argument fueled debates about her motives and the credibility of her claims. Unusual execution date. Wernos was executed by lethal injection on October 9, 2002. Her execution date happened to coincide with the 10th anniversary of her first murder conviction. Legal Challenges Wernos's trial and subsequent appeals drew significant attention due to her controversial self-defense claims and mental health issues. Her defense team argued that her history of abuse and psychological disorders contributed to her actions. Charlize Theron's Portrayal the 2003 film Monster portrayed Aileen Wuornos, with Charlize Theron winning an Academy Award for her transformative performance. The film highlighted Wuornos' relationship with Tyria Moore and her descent into violence. Youthful Victims Many of Wuornos' victims were middle-aged or older men who were found shot to death in secluded areas, often near highways. Psychological Evaluation Wernos underwent psychological evaluations during her trial to determine her mental state. Her diagnoses included borderline personality disorder and antisocial personality disorder. Limited sympathy. Despite claims of self-defense and her difficult past, Wernos's lack of remorse and the brutality of her crimes contributed to the public's limited sympathy for her. Notorious final words. Wernos's final words before her execution were, I'd just like to say, I'm sailing with the rock, and I'll be back like Independence Day. With Jesus June 6, like the movie Big Mothership and all, I'll be back. Media sensation. Wernos's case garnered extensive media coverage, sparking debates about mental health, the death penalty, and the treatment of women in the criminal justice system. Iconic mugshot. Wuornos's mugshot, showing her with a defiant expression and her signature gap-tooth smile, has become an iconic image associated with her. Eileen Wuornos's life and crimes continue to captivate public interest, sparking discussions about the nature of criminal behavior, the impact of abuse, and the complexities of the criminal justice system. Thank you for joining us in this exploration of the intriguing tale. If you enjoyed this video and found the information fascinating, we encourage you to hit that subscribe button so you won't miss out on more engaging content.